change. The plan stays the same. No adjustments, no changes, no savings. The president's plan cuts Medicare, excuse me, well, let's see, I got to rest, there we go, by $716 billion. Cut. In addition, the trustees of Medicare estimate that approximately 4 million people will lose their coverage under Medicare Advantage. This is the plan they've chosen, the shows they prefer. Some 4 million current seniors will lose their Medicare Advantage plan. And finally, the Medicare actuary estimates that 15 percent of hospitals and nursing homes will stop taking Medicare patients. So this is the president's plan. $716 billion cut, 4 million people losing Medicare Advantage, and 15% of hospitals and nursing homes not accepting Medicare patients. The, the president's plan has a dramatic impact on today's seniors, people 55 years of age and older. Now there's another topic, which is, I'll call it the next generation the generation after today's seniors, generations after the, today's seniors. And on the president's plan, this goes bankrupt. The Medicare trustees have notified the president that the plan will go bankrupt, Medicare Part A, in approximately 12 years. Under the plan that I proposed, it is solvent. So the differences in our Medicare perspective could not be more stark and dramatic. And I think as the people, as the uh, seniors in America understand what the president's plan is doing to Medicare, they're going to find it unacceptable. And we're going to get a lot of support from people who understand that Medicare should be protected for current seniors as well as for the next generation.